Photo collections in the Messages app will appear when someone sends you multiple images in one message. In this case, I've been sent five photos. Previously, these photos would appear in line, one after another vertically. But now they get stacked and appear sort of like a hand of cards. Hover over the collection and swipe on your trackpad with two fingers to move through the stack. If you're using a magic mouse, you'll be able to swipe with one finger. In the upper left, it lets us know how many photos were sent in the collection. Click this to see them all in a grid. Double click one to expand that image. To return to the collection, click the back arrow here. Click and hold on an image in the collection to quickly send a tap back or enter a reply to that specific photo. To the right of the collection, we have a download button. This gives us the option to import all five of these photos into my photo library at once. To just import a single photo from the collection, right or control click on the top image and choose Add Photos to Library. That's only going to import this top photo, not all five in the collection. This saying photos seems to be a typo. Over in the Photos app, we can now see that that photo has been imported. And in Messages, it lets us know one of the five photos in this collection has been saved to my photos library. Of course, we can also simply click and drag to save one of the images to our desktop or drop it into another app. So photo collections should make it easier to view and manage large batches of images that are sent all at once. This is going to work and look very much the same with the Messages app in iOS 15 as well.